right, class? Let's begin our presentations, hmm? Uh, Bobby, Skeeter, why don't we start with the two of you? No problem, Mr. K. You know we're on it. Yeah, we're feeling all prolific and terrific and ready to get scientific. Hit it, B. Our experiment was to examine the daily life of a common ant. The ant belongs to the same subspecies as... Bobby, Bobby, you're losing them. Now step aside and let me open up with a joke. Hey, what's up, New York? Ah, can I get a whoop? <laughs> Anyhow, what did the girl ant say to the boy ant? Quit bugging me. Ah, get it? Quit bugging me. Whoa, wow. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, sir. I would like to turn the remainder of this presentation over to my partner. <laughs> That's a tough crowd, man. Must be from out of town. I wish you were out of town. <laughs> now, as I was saying, the ants belong to the subspecies Hominoptera. They nest in a system of tunnels in the soil and can be found virtually everywhere. Everywhere but in the ant colony. It seems to be empty, gentlemen. Uh, empty? What? Who? How? Perhaps the missing lid had something to do with it. Huh? Skeeter, do you want to explain where the missing lid is? Uh... Well, I, I meant to tell you, see, I got to look at their sad little ant faces and trapped in there with no way to go but sideways. I felt so bad, I had to let them out. Don't worry, B. All we have to do is find the queen and the rest of them will follow. Oh, wow, there's a big one now. What are you doing? I'm just checking to see if it's a boy or a girl. Oh, sorry, bro. <laughs> this is a disaster. Our ants are attacking the students. Oh, relax. They're not attacking. All they're doing is looking for a warm, dark place to lay their eggs. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we know where the red one went. Hey, B, I got a great idea. Whoa! <laughs> the ants won't get far. Red or black, I'll get them back with my turbo-powered mini back. <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. K. No charge for the bra cleaning. <laughs> When things don't go their way, look to blame fate or bad luck or even the stars. I'm not one of those people. When things go wrong for me, I stand up tall and proud, look the world in the eye and accept the fact that my cousin Skeeter probably did it. Yo, Bobby, we're almost back in business, man. I emptied the mini back and found most of the ants. The search for survivors continues. But I'm not worried about ants, Skeeter. I'm working on this redo experiment now. I have a half a gallon of raw New York sewage. Yeah, so I smell. Ugh. I think I can eliminate the sewer odor. If this works, not only will I get an A, but I'll be a gazillionaire. <laughs> Don't you mean we? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I've been meaning to talk to you about that. <laughs> you have to admit, Skeeter, things you touch, I have a tendency to get, you know, lost, smashed, mm -hmm. crushed, flattened, destroyed, mutilated. Hey, hey, hold up there. No, I never mutilated anything. <laughs> You're right. I'm sorry. Hmm. We can do the experiment together. <gasps> but just to be on the safe side, would you... Mind standing over there in the corner? <laughs> standing over in the... Cars and Fergin and back and flagging. <laughs> what am I, three? Oh, man, further father. Didn't even know how to dress before I got here. Oh, man, I hope nobody's down there. Uh, uh, no, nobody. Just mad. Dina! <laughs> Whoa! Skeeter, what do you have on your feet? Well, let's call this one A and this one plus. Plus, that's the grade we're going to get. Where we present our gravity to find. Perfectly fine. Not for at home trying. Science project. Oh, what are you saying? This is supposed to be our makeup project? For now. Then, after we get that A-plus, we can put them on the market and get paid. Woo! <laughs> There's only one tiny wrinkle. Would everybody please take their seat now? Yeah, that's the wrinkle. Hey, you want to help a brother to his seat be? What? Woo! What? <laughs> Thank you, B. Oh. 
class. Today we're going to talk about science and its place in history. A discovery that changed our lives forever was the harnessing of electricity by Benjamin Franklin. History and science. Well, Bobby, today's the day. Me and Jefferson and a couple of other brothers are working on a Declaration of Independence designed to bring freedom and democracy to all the colonies and create a better life and future for us all. What do you got going? Well, I'm gonna fly this kite. A kite? Cool. Hey, Jefferson can wait. Ah! What's up with the key? Oh, I'm gonna use it to prove that lightning is a form of electricity. That sounds wack, B. Besides, you're never gonna get a kite off the ground with a big key hanging off the end of it. Give it here. But Skeeter, you don't understand. I need the key to conduct the electrical current. It has to stay fixed on the end of the kite, otherwise... Otherwise what? Uh, otherwise that. <laughs> what did I tell you? Kites and keys don't mix. I'm getting rid of this thing once and for all. Oh! <laughs> oh. Sorry, Ben. You can go ahead and keep that. Which proved that lightning was a form of electricity. <clears throat> Let's move on <laughs> to uh, Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, December 1903. <laughs> that, of course, is when Orville and Wilbur Wright teamed up to give man wings. <laughs> Just to get this baby off the ground. Sorry, this is the first plane I ever worked on. Know why? Because this is the first plane. I'm sorry, Skeeter. I'm just so excited. Just think what this can mean. Flight. Bringing the world closer together. Shrinking the globe. Used to envy the birds. Now we can be like them. Yeah, well, don't be too much like them if you wind up flying over me. Everything looking good? Um. Hmm. Now it does. <laughs> All right, let's see what this baby can do. Check. Start the propeller. Check. is better than mine. I do too. Here goes nothing. Peter, <laughs> look what happened to the throttle. You just didn't tighten the bolts. Uh, bolts? What bolts? Um, I didn't see any bolts. Skeeter, are you sure you didn't forget to tighten the... <gasps> uh, uh, Skeeter, I think we better run for cover. This thing's getting ready to blow. Ah, oh, what are you talking about, Bobby? I checked that into myself. There is no way that it's gonna... Blow! I checked the engine myself. Three, two, one! I happen to be in the middle of a lecture here. So you're going to tell Skeeter you want to do the makeup project alone? Yes, I am. As soon as he decides to come down. Hey, hey, hey. Help me out. Oh. All right, now, hey. on three. Hey. One, two, three. idea for another experiment, B, and this one's going to test how much you care about science. What have you got? Okay, first of all, you are aware that you can live with only one kidney, right? Oh, uh, hold on, Skeeter. I'm going to stop you right there. <laughs> Look, you obviously have an extremely advanced scientific mind. Obviously. And sometimes I feel like I'm holding you back. Yeah, well, you are, dog, but we're a team. <laughs> yeah, but, uh... I can't let you go on carrying me. Sure you can. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> well, I'm not. Look, Skeeter, I want to do the redo project alone. Okay, well, see, on every team, there's stronger members who carry the weaker players and the... <laughs> alone? Yes, alone. Hmm. Did, did you say alone? 
Yes, alone. Now, let me get this straight. What you're saying is, alone, theater. Good night. Well, Bobby, can you give me a reason? Don't ask me. Ask Ben Franklin. You got his telephone number? Good night, Skeeter. <sighs> Not for me. <sighs> you think you know a guy, but when you're not looking, he kicks you to the curb. We were homies. We were a team. We were the homie team. Sad story, right? Talk to me. <laughs> yeah, I understand, Holbert. Even you don't want to be around me. <laughs> like I was saying, you think you know a guy, and then... Ah! Oh, Listen now, you fuck it's your last bird, fuck all women! Oh, what are you talking about? It's me, Skeeter! <sighs> Sorry, <laughs> get a little overprotective about my pigeons, but I sure did enjoy putting you on a pavement. <laughs> Can I be honest? I enjoyed it too. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, then what you so sad about? Well, it's Bobby. He doesn't want to do the science project with me anymore. He says I'm always getting in the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and? He says that he wishes I would go live in the subway and never see the light of day again in my life. Bobby said that. Well, no, not that last part. But see, when I was telling you the rest of it, you weren't feeling sorry enough. Uh, what you so worried about me for anyway? Bobby's the one. Make him feel sorry for you. Make him feel guilty. Guilty? I don't know, Nicole. Oh, okay. No, no, that's all right then. Huh? Try to give you some advice and you want to ignore me? That's all right. Just came from my heart. <laughs> I thought we were friends. <laughs> I guess you just live in my... <laughs> Mama told me this day would come. No, 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 no. Wait, Nicole, don't go. I trust you. See? Works every time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Bobby, I've been thinking a lot about what you were saying, and, and see, it hurt at first, but, but then it hit me. You are 100% right. I am always getting in your way. <coughs> well, I don't know about always, Skeeter. No, 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 no. Always. Look, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to pack a suitcase and move out, Pete, because you deserve to be Skeeter Free. <laughs> wow! Hey, um, in, in case you didn't uh, get my meaning clear, uh, see, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm putting my clothes in a suitcase to take them out of here so that I, I can go live somewhere else, uh, 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 away from you. I can see that, Skeeter. Now, now, I'm out of here like last year. Oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute. <gasps> you mean you don't want me to go? No, no, you can go. But how <clears throat> my souvenir Jordan jersey here? No, don't even try it. That, that, that joint jersey is mine. It's mine. No. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, look at that, dog. It is yours. <laughs> hey, I just realized something. I can't leave tonight because your parents would be really disappointed if they come back from their vacation and find out I was gone. That's not for three more days. Who'll think of something by then? <gasps> yeah, but you don't really want me to leave, do you? <laughs> You have my email address, right? Hey, okay, 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 okay. <sighs> well, I guess this is it, B. Guess so. Take care. <laughs> I just wanted to say. Yeah, Bobby. You can have your other half of the jersey. <laughs>
All right, come on in. Oh, but we don't have a fold-out couch, so you're going to have to sleep on a stack of newspapers next to the washing machine. Oh, that's cool. But if it's okay with your folks, can we put the funnies on top? <laughs> funnies on top. Oh, woo! One night. What did it hurt? Thank you so much. You are a true friend. You are the sweetest thing ever. I've been this for the rest of my life. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh. Nina! Oh. Nina, it's not my fault. Oh. Look, if I knew the teacups were antiques, I would have practiced juggling something else. the moon. <laughs> oh, look, I'm sorry about the sewage bill, but I need your help, Ned. This is an emergency. An emergency? Well, maybe we could work something out. Ah, great. Boys, <sighs> 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 Peter, this is great. This is great. <laughs> Let me tell you, you show me a pair of happy feet, and I will show you a happy man. Oh, is that right? Well, I'm glad one of us is happy. Okay, buddy. They're soft enough. It's time for you to start scraping my bunion. <laughs> Dad, my main man. I don't have that kind of time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what are you complaining about, Ned? Looks like somebody took a belt sander to your head. <laughs> oh. Hey, now don't you get all your feathers in a bunch? Look, I didn't have any place else to go. Okay, now let's get some shut-eye and we'll discuss it tomorrow at breakfast over some scramble. I mean, uh, cereal. I mean, yeah. <clears throat> It's me, buddy. I just want to know if you're going to be all right up there. Uh, I'm fine. Just fine. Yeah. Don't worry about the weather. The fellas and I are talking about flying south for the winter. Good night, Bobby. Skeeter, I said good night. <sighs> <sighs> Get to him before the crows do. Skeeter! I'm here, Skeeter! Skeeter, wake up, man. Oh, yo, B, what are you doing here? 
on here. Not everybody's dressed yet. Oh, oh, I, I'm sorry. Look, Skeeter, I was so wrong. You don't mess things up. You're my boy. I want you to come back. That's what you came up here to tell me? Look, I know when you have your mind made up on something, there's no talking you out of it. Sorry to keep you waiting. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. It's going to be good to have you back, cousin. Yeah, well... <clears throat> It's gonna be good to be back, B. To tell you the truth, I've had it about up to here with these pigeons. Oh, correction. Up to here. <laughs> I hear you, cousin. Welcome back. <laughs> Maybe I spoke too soon. And I have a paper due in ten minutes. Somebody help! help. We're lost in the room! I'm gonna be late for school! Done it again, haven't I be? Huh? Well, you know, I don't want to start pointing fingers. I mean, sometimes you think just, yeah, you've done it again. <laughs> you know what, B? You have faith in me, and I'm not gonna let you down. No, sorry. No, uh, your papers do first period. Give it here. I'm gonna get it there by first period. Oh yeah, the door's locked. How do you propose to do that? Personality, B. I make friends fast, fellas. <laughs> Nice and easy. All right? You know what we got to do, just like we talked about. This is an express flight, right? No, that you stop. Ow! Don't you cut your nail? Sure, Skeeter gets me in a lot of trouble, but he's almost as good at getting me out. I guess that makes sense. I mean, it's not like he hasn't had plenty of practice. What a pal. What a great guy. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. These are my CDs. This is my Ken Griffey rookie card. Skeeter, you bum! Skeeter! First fashion strategy.